different team out of that first time out, Mike. Samuelson steps up, knocks it away. And it's taken back by James. And then great hustle by Gabby Williams to knock it away. Dangerfield, a look away to Samuelson.
As UConn prepares to make its 25th straight Sweet 16 appearance on Saturday, we dive into the Huskies matchup against Duke. Welcome into the ADN studio, I'm Haley Outen. Here's what you need to know before tip. For UConn forward Azaree Stevens, she will be in familiar territory taking on her former institution. She was arguably the Blue Devils' top player before transferring to UConn. While at Duke, Stevens was a first-team All-ACC member as a sophomore and a second-teamer as a freshman. Stevens has found success in the American in just her first season, being named the sixth player of the year, as well as the conference tournament's most outstanding player. How did both of these programs punch their tickets to Albany, you may ask? The Blue Devils had to come up with two quality wins. In first round action, they beat Belmont 72 to 58 and then rolled past fourth seeded Georgia on Monday, 66 to 40. For UConn, it was a historic performance in their first tournament game, walking away with an 88 point win over St. Francis before beating in-state neighbor Quinnipiac 71 to 46. As for what we can expect to see on the offensive side of the ball, five UConn players are averaging double digits per game, while on the Duke side, three players can claim the same. The Blue Devils bring a tough defensive group into this matchup and lead the ACC in field goal percentage defense, while UConn leads in the same statistical category in the American. Duke and UConn last met in 2015, however, the Huskies have taken the last eight meetings between both of these programs. A trip to the Elite Eight is on the line. Winner plays either the 11 seed Buffalo or the 2 seed South Carolina. No upsets here, though. How about Connecticut? Connecticut just got rolling on the offensive end. Six players in double-figure scoring. 
90-something points in the paint on the day, some of them in transition, some of them on passes. I mean, it was beautiful basketball. It wasn't close. It wasn't dramatic as Kyla Irwin hits the three, but it was beautiful basketball. Connecticut breaks the record for most points in an NCAA women's tournament game. The previous record was 121, which is set by Alabama back in 1995, and they win by 88, which is the second largest margin of victory in men's or women's D1.